the first ram spot on CCTV is going to be through the window of V-Bomb. You're going to throw your ram in, point it to the right, and it's going to take out the Azami sitting there. This is going to help your teammates that are attacking Garage get more vision into sight and be able to attack the Azami playing Garage a lot easier. The next ram spot on CCTV is when you're going to come up the stairs, throw it over the railing, and then face it to the left. This is going to allow your ram to charge in there and take out any bandits on that wall. Also, you're going to completely open up the floor, so if you hop over the railing, or you'd probably be downstairs already, you're going to be able to see any bandit that's trying to bandit trick there, so your teammates are guaranteed to get the wall open. The next ram spot is also on stairs. You're going to throw your ram at that wall, activate it, and it's going to go under the desk. This is super helpful because people will often try and hold construction from that angle that allow your teammates to have more control over construction and you to have complete control over sight. As you can see from coming here below, we're going to be able to shoot anybody playing on that and it's going to eliminate any threat in that area. Eliminated. The next objective we're looking at is basement. You're going to want to come into kitchen from above and make sort of an L shape with your rams. This is going to allow you to control B completely. You throw your first one down and face it towards the hallway. The next one is going to go perpendicular to this one. Doing these two ram spots give you almost complete control over B site, especially if you have a teammate go play in tunnel, you have total control over B site. The last ram location for this objective is just in hallway. It's a pretty simple ram, but it allows you to control the rotate in between B and A site. With your shotgun, you're even able to make some extra peeking area into B site from the hallway. The next objective we're looking at is bedroom. You're going to want to play vertical from below on this objective. So the first ram we throw is going in to the left. And the next ram we're going to throw, we're going to throw it on top of the bed and it's going to go to the right. You're going to see this ram here is actually going to go all the way to the bomb chassis. And this is going to allow us to play below because a lot of people like to sit on that bomb chassis. As you see, we're going to go over to the next window soon and throw it in to the right. It's going to below make kind of an end shape. It's going to give you a lot of vertical control over sight from below. Whenever you enter from below, you're definitely going to want to bring a friend. You can see directly into bathroom and into gym. And then also from that third ram you threw, you're going to be able to see behind the bomb chassis. You got complete control here. This is very hard to counter. One thing to note on Clubhouse is that every single bar in the building faces from north to south. I don't know if it's like that in every single map, but every floor I've seen in Clubhouse, all the bars always face north to south. That's something to note if you're going to play Ram a lot. Op 4 eliminated. The last objective we're looking at is the first floor bar area. You're not going to see this objective a lot. I personally never see it but I wanted to be thorough and show you guys how I would attack it as Ram. The first one's going down in the gym, and this is going to let you see into the rotate from the pool table area. The next Ram we're gonna throw down is gonna be in bedroom. This one's gonna allow you to see directly into the bar area, and also just more control over the A site. B site in this objective, you cannot play vertical on, so you're gonna get a lot of your utility out of playing above the A site. The last ram we're gonna throw down is actually going to be another one in gym, so you can help watch pool table and help get your teammates in through that window 
to anybody that might be sitting there. Biggest thing for Ram is make sure your team plays around the areas you have vision of. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you're interested in seeing me do this with other ranked maps, just let me know, I'm more than happy to do it. Also, massive thanks to my friend Reaper, he was a big help in doing this and a great sport. Also, I'd really like to know what you think of my spots, if you think they're shit, just let me know in the comments and I'd love to see your feedback.